What's up guys, Eclectic Nerd here again as always, and welcome back to another episode of Space Engineers. So I'm here in the sort of main main hangar bay area here. And I've actually I brought my ships in and just to kind of do a mock-up and figure out kind of like what kind of size I'm working with here. And after doing this and looking at this, I think one of the modifications I'm going to do is actually I'm going to swap from these two smaller doors to one bigger, maybe like three or four wide hangar door. Just because, like, Rob here isn't that big and he barely, like, he just barely fits through here. But one of the things that I want to work on today is actually the conveyor system. Oh. And one other thing I want to mention, I made modifications for the Dyson here. I don't know if this is going to work, because I don't know if there's like a backblast area behind the rocket launcher, but eh, well, we'll see when I go if I go to fire rockets and it just blows those off. Um, I also hope that this is actually secure enough for us to be moving around. But anyway, the thing I want to work on today is I want to work on my conveyor system. And I think what I'm going to do is kind of something similar to, well, kind of in, in idea behind the same thing at the, that I had at the base where I have two separate bays, one for mining, one for obviously uh, refined components, and then I'll just run the tube up along the ceiling here, down, and then into the actual, let's see, what's on, what's, what's right here? Can I, is this, okay, that is available. Ah, shoot. Wait, my inventory is not full. How is that? Oh. Uh, that seems really loud. Hang on a second here. Probably because I adjusted the audio for speakers, and then I was using. I'm using headphones right now. So that's probably why there's the audio difference. Let's see here. Um this to come, and actually, uh, I want this to be a nice visible color, much like what I did on the, on the base, so that I can actually see these tubes as they snake all over the place. Oop, dang it. Oh, one thing I want to, I do want to show off one more thing too. Um, so probably once I finish what? Now oh, that steel plate fell off, probably. Hang on. I need to go pick that up because it's going to break something. Weird. It's like partially clipped through the floor. Anyway. Uh, let's see, it has to come down, over, and in. And conveyor. Yeah. I did a bit of work off camera just because I was in, I was in, I was in the zone. This is one of those games where, like, when I get started on stuff, let's see here. Oh yeah, that's perfect. It's out of the way. I mean, I could put, I could probably put maybe some cargo containers along the way. Because this is has, this is gonna have to go quite a ways to feed over here. I need to finish these. I need to I need to complete these so I can see where the uh, the uh, conveyor ports are. Uh, and I need let's see. I got so many things to do. Uh, first off, I want to show. So I finished kind of what the battle bridge is gonna be like. And I put a med bay in here. Get, the, get that bit of welding done. And I found out that the jump drive does not make a perfect seal with this window. So I put some catwalk down. And I have a nice nice view out the back here. And yeah, I think I really like this. I think what I'm gonna do is maybe actually. No, this has to stay on this side. Maybe I'll move the assemblers to the other side because what I want to do is I want to have basically two sort of oxygen tanks here with vents on them. So that because my thinking is if you were 
in an actual warship, a pri priority would be placed to keep this area, the, the battle bridge, sort of uh, pressurized more than other parts of the ship. Let's see. I did. I think. I, let's see. See what I didn't show off in the last episode. I finished both these stairwells as well. So, so that's the back of the stairwell. I do think I'm actually going to put a gravity generator in here somewhere because this like quarter gravity is nice, but it's just kind of like annoying to be bouncing around constantly. Uh, let's see. So uh, actually, I should finish these first. So I need displays, computers, construction components, and steel plates. I need to figure out where I'm going to put my oxygen production as well. Probably in the other, in the opposite side of. Uh, let's see, I need steel plate. Well, I can think about a steel plate at this point. Some of construction components, I think displays as well. The rest of my steel. Wow, I am out of steel plate. Uh, where is it? I rearranged my desk uh, last night, so I am now no longer on, relying on my flimsy keyboard drawer thing. Here I'll put. Okay, so I definitely need more computers. Let me just put them right here. Oxygen generators. And then maybe, let's see. Because I think in, or in order to save, well, I was thinking about saving weight and space, but that might not be as crucial as I think it is. So, I'm kind of opting against filters or sorters at this point. Let's see any more computers. Just because they ended up being kind of more than more of a pain than what they were worth. Uh, let's see. So my idea was to kind of just do everything manually. Okay, and then let's see what I need over here. Just need small steel tubes. And I need construction components. Oh, I put my connector on that. I think this will be a pretty, a pretty just. Oh, wait a minute. I did not think this through. Because. That, that's in the way. Yep, that's, that's in the way. Um, hang on a second here. Is this structural? It is not. Okay. That's alright. We'll just route this a little differently. And then it'll be all good. Why? Why? Okay. It's so weird how like it's kind of like contextual where which direction you're simply looking at in order to rotate it. Okay. Yeah, come over here. Start tearing this down. All right. There we go. I also like how the like um, little icon for the conveyor tubes is still the old block model. Whoop, that's that feeds nothing. Hup, there we go. So I definitely need construction components and small steel tubes for the most part. So construction components and small steel tubes 
Who? I've also been sort of thinking about what I want to do when I get to Mars. Because I want I think when I get to Mars, what I'm going to do is... So I needed these... These small steel tubes. Uh, I think that should be enough. So I was thinking of doing what I had initially planned to do on Earth, which is making a sort of flying mobile base. And initially I had thought about using... Um, oh, I'm just short on steel plate. Initially I thought about using atmospheric thrusters, however, I'm pretty sure, and I have to go back and double check this just because sometimes my brain doesn't work quite right. I'm fairly certain that Mars does not have an actual breathable, usable atmosphere. So that might put a, a bit of a kibosh on that. But, so I'll probably have to use atmospheric thrusters. Why is this not? Oh, because it's this. There we go. Okay, and that's all good. See, for this conveyor system thing, I almost thought about using a like a, a piston boom area on like a uh, an advanced rotor and then having the like literally having just it plant, planted somewhere actually mm, see pistons don't shrink completely flat they're still they still occupy like three blocks like that which I don't really care for because it's hard to it's hard to make like I I, I wish that they made Small, like thrusters that would fit flush with whatever block you're using, but they wouldn't advance as far. Like this one will go, you know, two meters or whatever. If they made it like half and then made it flush, I'd be more happy with it. Because then it wouldn't, because like I, I want to use pistons more, but the, um, what is it? The, like the, the size that, the size factor that they have, the four, like the size that they, they are and the space that they take up makes it difficult to plan them in builds accordingly. Like, it'd be cool to have, like, a landing gear on a piston that you could then, ex like, expand and retract, but that doesn't exactly work because pistons take up this, like, huge amount of space. So you have to, like, it's like trying to juggle the, si the size of it. Okay. Let's see. Oh, dang it. Of course. I'll be happy when the ship becomes moderately sufficient, like uh, self-sufficient. Oh, we need more interior plate. That is for certain. Where are you? There you are. Yeah, I'll make it. I'll make a thousand again. A good, good round number, a round thousand. Uh, let's see. This could even go right now. Did I just... Okay, yeah, this goes left and then up and over. Oh, come on. Come on. Really? That's the only way I... Why is that the only way I can rotate this? There we go. I am excited though to finally like have a much larger an interstellar traveling ship because I think it should be quite interesting. Uh, wait a minute. Why? Why? Oh, I went one block too high. Oh! 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 Whoo! I think I caught that. I do think one thing I want to do with the hangar area is I want to do like red lighting just because I think it would look really cool. Let's see here. But 
That's another. You know, that's a separate thing. I probably just took that off camera because that's not particularly interesting. At least that doesn't sound interesting. Uh, okay, so really, these take steel plate. Since when? Huh. Never thought about that. Jeez, I got so many freaking oxygen tanks here. Hmm. Oop, not, not seal. Um, I think. Construction components, motors. Am I out of construction components? Okay, I am not. I think it's construction components, steel plate, small steel tubes, definitely need those. Yeah, wow, I used up all my construction components already. Those always go really fast, probably because like everything uses them. Okay, so I'm gonna have to make a bunch, oh, and I need Computers? Why does this need a computer? You're not, you're not computing things. Let's see, I need... And I am on a small steel tube. Uh, get my multiple assemblers going here. Let's see, what's something else? Oh, yeah, construction components. Too many computers too. Uh, anything else I need? Probably not. Let's we'll see if there's anything else that needs to be welded right now while I wait. So it becomes just a waiting game. Wait for this to get finished. Wait for this to be produced. Wait for this to be refined. That's pretty much consistent across the board. I, what? Why? No, that's where the interior plate is or goes. Okay. Hmm. It's just those, isn't it? And this this probably goes right outside. Yep. So I need to get creative with how I'm going to route this. That's gonna come through. Hmm. I think. Yeah. Maybe just run this down. Hmm. Maybe. Hang on here. I definitely need the reactor plugged into this system. Ah, dang it! Oh, and why? I need to be yellow. What, what is that noise? Oh, that's my, uh... I think the suit makes no like, starts making audible noises when you're low on things. Hang on here. Well... No. Eh. Because I noticed it, I think it was one other time I was playing when I do like the the oxygen thing. It's kind of cool. Uh, get topped off here. Just finish my energy up this way. There. 
it's still on. I wish there was a way to like, like I want put the airlock thing. I wanted to do a thing where the light would like you would get a red light when the um, chamber was depressurized. So that there was like a, a visible, a really a highly visible way to see that. Like like if there was a way to put a light on the on the ins on the interior, like actually on the on the side that has pressure, to denote what the pressure level is in the next area. I think that'd be cool. Maybe they could like integrate it into the door into the sliding door. Like, hey, this this door tells you when there's pressure on the other side. Uh, what don't I need? I should probably focus on doing one thing at a time. Like, planning the route of this before I start actually, like, building the whole thing. Okay. <clears throat> so. We've got our conveyor system here. It's gonna go. Does I know it doesn't have to connect both sides, but I want it to because symmetry. I demand symmetry. Uh, let's see here. Boop. And there you go. Wait, how did I do it over here? So I do. Oh, I just decided it straight. Okay, so it's straight. And it curves around. Also, I I just like the idea of like all these me meandering tubes everywhere. Kind of reminds me of like the old. Uh, oop, why? Okay, like old screensaver type deal. And actually, hang on a second here. Small, large. Maybe just do like four smalls. That seem right. Because it doesn't need it does I don't need much storage really. on top here. Oh, dang freaking stairs. There is not. Okay. Well then, I guess I'll just have to do... Okay, so... Big decision here. I guess the... These sort of closest containers will be for... refined materials. And these outside ones, the outside ones will be components. Like that, if it makes sense. Okay, and now I'm going to route this all the way back. This doesn't have to go far. Ah! Dang it! Why? Wait. Okay. So I just need a little bit of interior plate, and I can finish that. It'd be cool if, like, you could get a if, like the little light strips on there gave off a little bit more light 
almost to the point where you could kind of use it as a very weak light source. Components, motors. Uh, dump some of the steel plate. I don't need quite that much. Nope, uh, oh, nope, oh, not that. There you go. Hey, it's my favorite song. It's the, bo the Bongo song. I don't know why. I just like calling this. Other, I just like calling this the Bongo song. Let's see. I think I'm gonna move the assemblers over here and then use put oxygen generators here because this is better in line with where the, uh, where the where the where I want to put the oxygen tanks in the battle bridge. I do want to do a weight check to see just how heavy I'm getting here. Because it was about, I think, one and a half million empty. And a lot of stuff has been added since then. I imagine it's probably going to, like, balloon out of control really quickly. Apparently need a lot more construction components, and I'm out of everything. Okay, and we're gonna run up to the battle bridge right quick here, just to see. You know, get a, a weight check. 1.7 million. So only about 200. So far, the guts have only added up to about 200k in terms of poundage or kilog kilogramage. I wonder if. I think it might also count the weight of the ships. I'm not sure. Well, let's see. I need, I need, I need construction components. Pretty sure that's what I need. And I'm probably out because and that's the last of them. Uh, let's see. What have I used up? Go through and let's see. Probably need more steel plate and that. A little bit of that. Want some more motors too. I got a bunch of motors. Start running back and forth, picking things up, setting things down. Let's see here. Start. Probably, yeah. Okay. Get as much done as I can while I wait. So construction components are definitely an in-demand item. Yeah, that's... Okay, construction components are the big one. Metal grid? What in, the, what in a car container takes metal grid? That don't make no sense, nah. Now, Andy, that don't make no sense now. It's my uh, Barney Fife. I don't know why. When I was a kid, like I really liked the the intro song for that. I don't know why. Cause it was just whistling. I don't know. I just thought it was really interesting. Ooh, I'm going back to my thing about. Um, planetary thing. One of the things I'm also kind of contemplating is maybe building a some sort of drop ship in orbit and then basically just packing up Rob and the Dyson and just kind of like the, 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 the drop ship will be just kind of like a throwaway item because most of the ships I get kind of attached to and I don't. I don't want. To, I don't want to destroy them because I put so much time and effort into them that it seems like a shame to destroy them. Uh, let's see what else. Okay, so definitely construction components. I wonder if. In, I wonder if partially completed blocks, if it starts calculating the mass of that.
Because it seems like, because, like, if it doesn't count the mass of an incomplete block, you could make really big, like, really big blocks that take up a lot of space and mass, but then just not finish them and maybe have, like, the, la the component stored in a storage container somewhere, so that you could kind of, like, I don't know, it'd almost be like a collapsible kind of thing where, um, what am I working on? Okay. Uh, make a bunch more. Why not? That's really that's really all I'm waiting on right now is construct is uh, construction components. But yeah, I think if if it doesn't calculate the mass of incomplete blocks, you could just build a ship where the majority of your like heavy like production capabilities are just frames, and it would say and you wouldn't have to carry around that extra weight all the time. Oh, I know one thing. I know one thing I can do while I'm waiting. I can move those assemblers to the opposite side. Where they belong. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Dang it. Okay. Hopefully, let's see. Uh, I have enough space to kind of like tran make these transient. Oh god. Oh. Okay, so that makes it to that is there okay. Assembler and assembler. Done. Okay, yeah, just break one side down. Keep an eye on my inventory space so I don't drop a bunch of crap everywhere again. again. Okay, and then... Alrighty. Alright, and now I need... Two oxygen generators. I cannot type. Okay, let's see how how do. Okay, so all all of your all of your ports are on one side. That is quite useful. No, there's just one. There's one side that has no ports. Interesting. Interesting. So which side? Okay, so it's that side. So I want your button panel to be like that. Yep, okay. So there and there. Oh wow, I actually have almost all the things I need to make you. Almost. So I need, let's see, I definitely need construction components. I gotta make a, a uh, assembler shopping list. Construction components, large steel tubes, and I think some steel plate. Construction components and large steel tubes and steel plate. So steel plate, construction components, uh, large steel tubes. I don't need many of those. Grab some. Well, can't really, can't really grab all the metal grid that I need. Why? Why? Why does stuff end up here? It's like it just randomly picks. Where it's gonna dump like over overproduced crap. It's like I don't know where to put this, so I'm gonna put it in the closest thing to me, which is the wrong direction in the in the uh, production cycle. Okay, I'm probably gonna use up. I don't think I have that many. Oh, okay. Hey, tube's done. Can I finish? Hang on, I want to finish these first. There. Okay, and then let's see here. Be a oh, I done goofed. I needed a port. Okay, so the the non-port side has to face downward, downward. Okay, um, I need to clear out my inventory. What am I carrying? That takes up so much space.
Uh, those large steel tubes are probably doing it. Uh, who needs who needs stuff welded on it? Stick these in the assembler. Look at that. We're already getting uh, stuff put in places. Okay. Uh, nine! Uh, see, I don't know where. Ah! Dang it. Okay, that's that way. Wait a minute. Hold on a second here. Okay, I think that works. Let's see here. Okay, so I've got a port on this side, a port in the front here, of course. Step back. Okay. Now, the real question do I have a port on top? Wait, what? How many ports are on this thing? Hang on. I see something. Okay. So. Why? I need to make ports at a night at a, uh, So there's no ports that are 90 degrees to one another. Oh, dang it. Okay. So it's just on opposite sides. Well, that's goofy. Maybe I'll just have to do it like that. Because at least then, at least occupies the right amount of space. Although I don't I don't want to have like this just dead space back here. This goofy little cubby hole. Um, or hang on here. I could probably keep it like this. I'll just have to run a I'll just run I'll just run a 90 straight up, because let me see here. Where in the battle bridge? Let's see here. We gotta do a, do some mocking up here. Uh, where is this? Where does this come out? Okay, so that's the stairwell. Uh, Okay, I think I see what's going on here. Hmm. So the actually the oxygen generator all of this needs to be back here in order to this flow that I want to be right. Uh, huh. So I'll probably run I think I got it. So that'll have a structural conveyor here. Dang it, the interior plate. This this tube here is just gonna have to get pushed back, I guess. So there'll be a T-joint here going up. I'm not even sure if this is going to work right, because oxygen generators, from what I understand, are really weird in how their like input and output works for some reason. So I'm just going to... Wait. Why, why? Why does this change so differently? Regardless of... Okay, so that's the way that needs to be. Uh, there we go. Of course, I used my last construction points, so I guess. Well. I 
can't run the tube this way because that's in the way. Uh, let's what attaches. Uh, dang it! This is. Oh, wait, hang on. Maybe if I just. Basically, input will come in here, and then it'll route it through this way. And then I can run a tube out the back, maybe? Hmm. Hold on. This is getting, this is getting a bit too complicated. I'm, I tried to keep things as simple as possible. Or, hang on. Oh, no, because we can't run that way, because somebody decided that, uh, that oxygen generators can't run things per like at 90 degree to angles to one another. Oh. Well. I feel like I've been recording for about a half an hour. Um I am actually going to go I'm probably this is probably gonna happen again like yesterday's episode. I'm gonna go check, see how long I've recorded, and if it's been long enough, I will come back and sign off. So I will see you guys in a second. So I checked my recording and I've been going for a bit a bit longer than normal than you today. So I'm going to call this an episode. If you are enjoying the series, of course, as always be sure to leave a thumbs up. Um ship names, suggestions for I don't know ways to live on Mars. How to how to Mars. How do I Mars? I'd love to hear it. So until next time. Stay nerdy, my friends.